After nearly half a day of racing, the fight at the front brought a dramatic finish at the Bathurst 12 hour. Katsumasa Chio sweeping from third to first in one lap aboard his Nissan GTR Nismo GT3. After being involved in a race ending accident last year, the Japanese driver took the chequered flag and gave Nissan its first triumph at Mount Panorama since 1992. Last couple of minutes, uh, I, I get a chance to catch up to the top in the last restart. It's just, I saw it's uh, now or never. It's, it's incredible. Belgian Wolfgang Reap proved the value of Nissan's highly successful GT Academy program, starting the race and scoring by far the biggest win of his career. It's my first win in an international GT race. Uh, there was factory team here. It's one of the toughest tracks in the world. And uh, we were at the top all the race. And then like one hour 30 before the end, we were a little bit disappointed because, be because of the safety car and everything. We were fourth. And then uh, the last 10 minutes, we came back. We catched the two leaders. And uh, Chio overtook them in the last two laps. Just incredible race. German Florian Strauss winning the 12 hour just 18 months after being named to the GT Academy program. It's my first time I'm working with the Nismo team directly, so you know I'm, I'm used to work with, with RGN uh, all last year and also in Dubai. So it was for me it was a pleasure to see you know how the guys did, and they put so much effort in tonight. You know didn't get any sleep, um, but you know that was our target to to make them happy with a victory. The significance of the GTR win at Bathurst not lost on Nissan Australia boss Richard Emery. It is part of the global program. Uh, and that's really important for Australia to be part of that. You know, you've got uh, unique programs or innovative programs with the way the drivers come through to this point. Uh, GDR has always been known for its innovation and uh, in a few months' time we'll be going to Le Mans with an innovative car. So it's really great that our program is seen as part of that global effort. The colours of the Nismo Athlete Global Team will not be limited to the GTR, with the same scheme set to be seen on the Nissan Altima V8 supercar of Michael Caruso throughout 2015.